Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper 500 Day Challenge Series, Part 57. And, uh, yeah, we're out here at the uh, Mystery Lake, one of the lake houses. Looks like there's a blizzard possibly starting. So let's give it about an hour, see if it gets better or worse. Um, got a major announcement. Major announcement for the channel. It's a good one. Never saw this coming. I mean, might have to drop some at gear. least not this early. I figure maybe, you know, a year down the road, maybe five years down the road it would happen, but it has happened as of right now. Let's go ahead and rest for an hour here. Or no, let's go ahead and sleep. As of right now, I'm officially making more money on YouTube than Dr. Disrespect. There it is, folks. There it is. I'd like to thank you guys so much for all the support through the years. Without you guys, I couldn't have done it. Without his stupidity, I couldn't have done it. But, uh, yeah, just thanks. Thanks. Um, I might not be six foot eight. I might not have a 37 inch vertical leap. I might not be the two time back to back 1993, 94 blockbuster world champion. But what I do have, what I do have is monetization. Where can I find something to eat? And a monogamous relationship with my wife. All right. So, uh, guys, let's. Uh, that, that blizzard definitely got worse, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna just ride it out here because that thing is nasty. I don't want any part of that. Um, how are we doing on water? Water's one that always sneaks up on me for some reason. I just keep sleeping and resting and sleeping and resting. If it's still going, I'm probably going to try to find something to just stay busy with here inside the cabin, if possible. Oh, yeah, it's still going. Drop any of this gear. I know, I know. You're a weakling. So they got rid of cr the cougars for temporarily. They're going to rework the whole thing, um, which is good. I, I, I see they did. I see they didn't remove scurvy at the same time. I just I still got the instant scurvy. But uh, we're working our way through it. Um, it's sort of put us on hold for traveling over to uh, coastal to do some beach combing and fishing and mining out there some coal mining but uh, that's where we're at I might start busting some things up I think I don't know what's my, my, my weight isn't too bad it's just that I'm it's just that I'm weakling right now so okay let's give it another man it's already past midday I'm just losing a whole day right here let's just pass time then at least we have food and water available. I think it's still going. I can hear the roof rattling. That's never a good sign, right? Yeah, the wind just keeps changing direction. That's all it is. It's not really too bad when you're uh, behind cover. It's only negative eight. As soon as you step out here. Yeah, it's not the best. All right, let's go here. All right. Wow. It uh, not only stopped, but it became an absolutely beautiful day. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Um, okay. Well, maybe we'll get a couple hours of fishing in while we're at it. Maybe I'll go over here. Might try a different uh, fishing hut. Oh, we got wolves over there. Is that where all the wolves are this time? We got one wolf over there at least okay well if that's the case those other three wolves might be walking out from that that area over there seems like that's what they do now is they they, they make it look like it's nice and clear and then they come from this little uh, creek area over here or river access whatever it is we'll soon find out yeah, it looks like it's just one wolf over there for now okay let's see what we can do dip inside of here see if it warms up a little bit 
Alright. Cooked. Dropped it there. Okay, harvested some lamp oil. Okay, good. Take a look around again for more wolves. Nothing. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. How are we doing on tip-ups? We got a couple of those. They're starting to look... This one's looking a little worse for wear. We're going to definitely need to make another couple tip-ups. So that shouldn't be a problem. We'll probably do that. Heck, I might just... Do, I don't really want to waste... It would have been nice if we were at the camp office during that during that blizzard. I could have made a couple tip ups there with the workbench, but and not wasted all, the, all that daylight. But I think right now, I think right now we go and uh, make some tip ups. What I might do is go get some wood. All I get is good though. That uh, that blizzard hopefully blew down some more branches for or limbs for us to chop up that's my hope anyway wow what a nice day definitely get a free fire out of this one but we have plenty of fish up here so You know what I could do? I, I guess it would take too long. I want to say you could you could almost make like if you wanted to have a way to get back to your cabin, you could almost leave a bunch of these little uh, fishing holes pointing you in the right direction. But I guess you know some sticks would do the same trick or work the same way too. So you could always just grab a bunch of sticks and do the same thing. It wouldn't take as long. But Mystery Lake isn't that confusing. I guess if it was a region, if you were new to the region or something like that, you could always just leave a trail of sticks or something like that. Something useless. But uh, I think those take a little bit too much time, and they do deteriorate your uh, equipment a little bit. Lake. Let's make some more tip ups. Let's get a. Let's try to get about. Let's try to get about five of them so I have a backup. Uh, okay, we have plenty of plenty of food here. And then I got a whole bunch back here that's uncooked. Um, might just cook it back here for now. Yeah, wait, let's go do that. Let's do a little cooking here. Or I could do. I guess I could do that at night. Too much stuff to carry. But the uh, the weather's so good right now. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and craft while we got the, the daylight here. Um, let's see here. Tip up. What do I need here? I need a uh, two, six. All right. Not a problem. I mean, we have plenty of scrap metal. So let's go grab our sticks. How many did I need? Four, I think it was. Was it four? Per. fishing tip up there is oh two so if i want five i'm gonna need 10 sticks and 10 scrap metal and one cloth i always thought it required a, a fishing tackle but apparently i was wrong about that that's that's kind of nice i better find some water one two three four five six nine ten okay Get him some water. All right, give me one second here. Household duties. I'm going to quickly save it. And we'll get started here again on the tip ups. <clears throat> Something's got to go. All right, there we go. I'm back. Okay, let's make these tip ups, shall we? Let's see how we're doing here on the metal. We got eight metal. Okay, I'll take about uh, five of them. 
And I'll take about how many how many cloths I need? It's two, isn't it? And that's one metal each. There it was. Trying to stop because it moved up. That's right. Uh, yeah, it's one. One metal each. Uh, one cloth each. And I already have four, so I just need one more cloth. There we go. Now we should be able to make five of these things. Takes forty minutes. Okay, let's do it. I think we'll be happy uh, we get these, a good supply of these built. So I can even add a couple more holes. I mean, if the fishing was good before, it should be even better now. So I got three out of that. Oh, it does take a fishing tackle. Okay, okay. Gotcha. So now I need to make, make a fishing tackle. Uh, fishing tackle. You don't have to use that menu that's right here we go so I need some line and uh, to make a line it is how much how many guts is it you get two per gut okay gotcha let me go grab a couple guts and we'll make some line right quick here I think you can do this in the night I don't think you even need to have any light for this but Wait, it should be at the top, right? Correct? Hmm. Mine, what am I missing? Oh, the workbench. Okay. Yeah. Now it should be at the top. There it is. Okay. Uh, let's do two. Uh, four lines, 30 minutes. I might have had some line laying loose in there anyway in the, in the old... Uh, drawer but uh no apparently not okay now to make the tip up what am i missing now oh tackle tackle that's right now we go from here there it is okay there we go finally and i need another hook There we go. I'm gonna make three of these. I might as well go outside and do it, I guess. If it's if it's decent. For the last one. All right. Let's see what the weather's like outside. I'm not sure I can carry Oh, much it's not more. bad at all. Not bad at all. Ooh. The Aurora. Now, I don't think we can make any more tips. Now, that's completely dark. Maybe since there are roars up here, we can. That is sometimes an exception. I don't see any lights nearby the near the uh, workbench, but we'll see. Looks like it's letting us, so we'll take advantage of it. There it goes. Another scrap metal. I think we're good. We should have a, quite a few of these. One, two, three, four. Four brand new ones. Six. I'll probably make two, uh, two more. Yeah, because this one's gonna break pretty quick. So let's plan on doing that. Uh, this is getting a little low. We're gonna definitely need to repair this. How's the, uh, how's the old pry bar doing? Okay, it's still doing good. So, yeah, we're gonna definitely repair this. So, all right. Now let's make a couple more of those tip ups as backups for when the other two break because I'd like to get six going. I heard someone, I think someone in the comments said six is the most they can get going in a certain area or the most you can have up at a time in a world. I don't know, but uh, yeah, let's check on the, I'm gonna have to on leave that. Something behind. So I'm gonna see what I'm missing here. Scrap metal, so I have one cloth, a couple sticks, plenty of, all right, so I need another couple 
cloth and another stick. Okay, well, we should be able to find our way upstairs somewhat easily. There we go. All right, one, two, just for good measure. There we go. Lighten the load inside that drawer, though. We'll be able to store some more things in there. All right, so we got enough to make a... Uh... Yeah, got plenty more. Oh, I was looking at the wrong number. I was looking at this number. <laughs> so, but yeah, okay, so two more. We're good there. Two more, two more. Yep, should be good. So let's start crafting this. And we'll do another one. And then we'll get a drink. All right, so now we have plenty of tip-ups. I went from not liking the tip-ups at all to absolutely adoring them. <laughs> so all it took was me learning how to use them properly. Drop any of this gear. All right, let's see what we're carrying. So we're at thirty. That's not bad. Not much more. This tip-ups are so so light. I'm gonna go see if I can maybe uh, grab a couple pieces of uh, wood. Maybe it's fallen. So let's go do a little bit of scavenging here for some. Some limbs. What a beautiful, beautiful night. Gotta love that. It might not have dropped one over here. If not, there's, there's probably gonna be some over there. So it's been a minute since we've checked over there. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything over here. All right, let's head on over here. Then we'll, uh, once it gets to be about midnight, maybe after, maybe after two harvests of wood, we'll, uh, head to bed. We'll eat some fish, head to bed, continue to work. Oh, what's he doing up there? And what scared him? I don't want, uh, I don't want to really want to go that way now. Right to reset. I just want to see if there's wood down here. Is there? Oh yeah, he's reset over there. So we need to be cautious about that. I don't see any wood over there. A couple wolves over there. Alright, let's just head on back inside. It was weird for him to be up there. It looks like they're starting to move into places that I've just never seen him before. Which is a little odd. Yeah, they're acting a little odd. Okay, I say it's bedtime then. I guess the other option would be to Well, I don't I'm just I'm just curious. <laughs> Can't get a fire from the Aurora Cadia. No. Never thought to try it. I mean it's making lights turn on magically, gear. so turn on some music, shall we? All right, well, let's see here. I can probably put back a little bit of... Do I have anything extra here? I'm going to keep a fishing tackle just to have. Yeah, we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as backups. Or, or I'll probably they'll probably make me use these first and then go to these as backups. But that's fine. Okay, wonderful. Um, let's see, medicine cabinet. Where's that at? It's around here somewhere. All right, I'm gonna probably put some of these teas in here. Rich bark teas. I'll keep one with me. Uh, I don't need that many painkillers. Rose hips. I can put those in there. Transfer all those. Uh, the rushy teas. Honestly, don't need those unless I get sick. Insulated flask is a little heavy. I might actually drop that since I'm not doing anything too crazy. 
lantern fuel we can drop off as well since it's a quarter and then I'm carrying some cedar wood for no apparent reason acorns yeah okay all right got piles of acorns here I think I'm just gonna drop some more here in case I ever want to use it as a bait or for coffee or something uh root okay that seems pretty good to me well we'll do some more fishing in the morning as is the pattern we sort of established until the scurvy disappears i will need to do a little bit more cooking for the water i know we had a ton of water but uh, it goes quick just like food if you just continuously eat it so all right we'll grab a couple more pieces of wood to take out there i know we already have some out there but uh grab a coal and a couple more pieces hopefully we get good weather tomorrow so all right well in the meantime let's uh oh yeah i was thinking i had fish in my inventory but apparently i don't let's grab a piece of cooked fish here i need to drop something it's a potato that's not what i want there's the white fish Okay, let's go and eat that, and we'll supplement it with a piece of the steak here, I guess. That should be pretty close, actually. There we go. Okay. Okay, wonderful. So we've eaten... We're gonna drink just to top off. And we're gonna get some good sleep here. And praying for a good day here. Alright, fully rested. Nice. Health is in really good shape. Sounds pretty calm outside. Keeping the old fingers crossed. All right, let's head on out. Negative 12 degrees. It's a little cold. It is morning though, so no surprise there. All right, yeah, it's a little cold everywhere we go. Um, yeah, let's grab some wood and uh, head on over to the uh, fishing hut. What's my weight at now? Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. If it was clear, I'd be tempted to uh, start a free fire and cook up that white fish. But as it stands now, that fur one. There we go. How we doing? Okay, should be all right. It's weird to look at the uh, carry capacity and see it at 25. That's just not, you know means if you reach 35, you're pretty much dead in the water. But, uh, really doesn't allow for much, uh, for you to carry too much, that's for sure. Alright. Let's do some more fishing. I guess I'm gonna need to get a fire going anyway, so it's gonna cost me a match, no matter how I look at it, but I've been trying to be pretty stingy with the matches, and I think it's gone pretty well 100 days and i think i've used like 10 matches um well i'm i'm at like a net loss of 10 matches you know it's up in the 50s and now i think i'm in like the f mid 40s i think i had like maybe 58 matches at one time somewhere around there probably the max now I, I think i'm around 46 that's not too bad and i haven't explored a lot of regions yet i haven't even set foot too in much them stuff to carry um I don't think matches deteriorate, so they shouldn't just disappear out of containers like a lot of other items will. And it looks like we're in the clear, for now at least, but we're going to head on over to the next one. Negative 11, but uh, we'll, we'll fix that pretty quick here. I might go... I might go over to the other. 
I'll go over to the, well, I have a lot of water here. That's the thing. Don't want to, and I can't really haul a whole lot more. I, maybe I'll just stick with this one for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Guess I could walk back and forth if I needed water in between uh, setting up tip ups. Wouldn't take me too long. At least nothing to the floor. Is that is that the bear? No, nah, it's a wolf over there on the left side. That's a, that's a wolf, right? Yeah, that's a wolf. 100%. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll stay over here then since there's a wolf over in that se section. That's okay. Alright. I don't know why I carried water over here, but hey. I guess I just had it on me anyway. Alright, so... We'll get this going. Let's get let's get the fire going. First and foremost, I need to find some place to escape this cold. Working on it, brother. Make it happen. Eighty-five percent chance of success. I like those odds. And they worked out for us. Okay. I am curious. Let's see how many matches we do have. 45. Pretty close. So, all right. Well, how are we doing on temperature? We need a, maybe a coal in there. Still going up? No. Um. Yeah, we'll do a coal. I'm so cold. Yeah. Add another cedar wood too. Uh, adding another cedar wood probably would have got us above that, but I have a feeling that if the weather gets colder, we're just going to be adding that coal anyhow, so might as well just do it now. There we go. Okay, now that we got that going, it's going to get a thing of water going while I work on the holes. There we go. And I want to use the pry bar. I think I have an extra pry bar food soon. in the either at uh, either at uh, Camp or Carter Hyder Dam or on uh, Coastal Highway. All right, let's go and get a tip up in there. Hold on. Let's keep working on these. Might put a couple more out front if I can. If I'm... Nope, might be boiling away. I hear it steaming. I might have lost my water. <laughs> Sounds like I might have. That's okay. Not a huge deal. Oh, two minutes until boil dry. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got it. Let's, uh, we already got it. I didn't hear the bell. All right. Well, that was good. It's a good start. Won't keep me busy, I can see. All right. Let's get another hole dug. Right. Oh, yeah. You can get them right here. Let's do it. We can get six of these guys going. Okay. Maybe one more over here. Right in the middle of my water. That's a good spot. Let me double check things here. Okay. I am probably need to take this. Did I not start water? Or... Yeah, I don't think I started any water. I might bring the heavy hammer out here so you can just see how it does. Busting through this ice. That weighs a lot. I can't, and I'm kind of puny right now. Kind of a weakling. Another one? Oh. Oh, that was actually a decent size of one of those. 600 and something calories. Okay, let's keep going. I have water. I did not have water going. Could start cooking some of these fish that I'm catching. Probably do that next. Oh, there's one.
feels nice. And nice and warm right here. Alright, I gotta get something on the... Oh, there's another one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, good deal. We got it. I don't think it'll let us put up another one. We could try. But I mean, it'll let us dig the hole. Reset this. I really wish I had the condition here. Alright, let's... Grab one of these small mouths and put it on the fire. And then we'll check the fire time here. 18 minutes, good deal. Throw some more wood on the fire. There we go. We're good to go for a while now. All right. Let's take a look and see how our tools are doing here. 51. Three or uh, not for, there we go. Forty-seven, fifty-one. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape for this fishing trip. I think you can't you can't repair this, can you? Yeah, can't repair that. Getting kind of thirsty. Yeah, all I can do is sharpen that one. I don't think I have the whetstone with me right now, but uh, let's get some water. There we go. All right, I'm gonna experiment with it. I'm gonna dig another hole here real quick and see if we can do it or not. Um, I think we have enough tip-ups, right? Yeah, we have a couple. Oh, it didn't use the 19 percenter. Held that one. These two held these uh, weaker ones in reserve. It started with the 100 percenters. So, two of them came up. Okay, they're keeping me busy. Nothing yet. All right, I'll try another one. Um, oh, what the heck? Let's just. Oh, I already have one in there. So wait, let me count again. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I got six. Okay. Uh, maybe I'd miscounted. All right. Um, I don't know. I'll put it right here. Oh, yeah, so we cut more than six. Now, this one finally caught something. Is it burnt? Oh, three minutes until burnt. That was very close. It's starting to weigh me down. All right, look pretty good out here. Could have got a free fire now. <laughs> this would have been time to have it happen. Oh, well. Now just kind of sit back and enjoy. I could probably do another one, but uh, yeah, I think so. I think this is going to be plenty for now. Plus, if I do another one, it's going to only last like a, a little bit because it should be the 19 percenter that's, yeah, still in inventory, so it, it won't last very long. So I'd rather make sure I don't burn a fish. Oh, I think I heard two of them go right there. Three.
I think that was all of them, right? Yes. Alright, let's get another fish cooking here. Feels like night is coming. Alright. Beautiful evening. All right, yeah. So, I think once this reaches, reaches about, there's not a whole lot of containers I need to get into with this, um, typically. Just some trunks occasionally, and there's probably nothing in them to begin with. I'm not too worried about it. Mainly locked lockers are what I'm interested in using a pry bar for. But, um, yeah. I, I kind of want to protect this until I... I might need to go and make a couple more of these and a couple more knives just to have them on stock. Uh rather than just use up all the whetstones, but uh, we might do that before we head to Coastal, actually. We might go and go to the forge there in Forlorn Muskeg and try to craft these, but uh, the goal right now is to try to get rid of this scurvy so I can actually carry things around. Um, without constantly being overweight. Okay. Oh, we got one right here. I didn't even hear it go off. I guess I'm, my ears are just getting so numb to it getting bell fatigue all right now let me do another walk around in case i missed one of the bells again Get a uh, another fish in there. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. It's because I'm getting tired, isn't it? I'm carrying around a bass as well. Probably. Yeah, let's just, let's drop the other one so I'm not attracting any wolves. I don't think I am, but yeah. All right. So it looks, yeah, we're definitely, it was, I think I was between the I and the G the last time I sort of took a measurement. So we're definitely doing better. Slowly increasing the vitamin C. So that's good at least. Two hours and 13 minutes. All right, let's throw another one on. There it is. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, I know what I wanted to look at. I was trying to remember. I wanted to see how my lantern oil was doing. All this cooking here. Let's take a look at it here. No, oh, it's not there. It's right down here. So, yeah, we've got almost a... Yeah. We got over a half liter of lantern oil out of this cooking session. Or no, I had some with me. Shoot, I don't remember what I started with. Oh well. Well, that's no help. Okay. Another one? Another Aurora. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Oh, nice. I like how that antenna is glowing on the background, up in the background there. That's really neat. Okay. Well, this one's almost closed up. Three, two, six, six, eleven. All right, let's get let's get another fish in there. Well, let's see. That was at point uh, five three total lantern oil. So let's see what this gets us. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. 0. 0.07. That's a lot. I bet it depends on the size of the fish, too. Nothing? Hmm. I wonder if we've overpressured this area a little bit. But let me walk around in case I missed a bell. Nope. They're all still down. Let me grab another fish. Might just finish off cooking fish. Might just be... Oh! Sneaky. That one must... That bell must must be broken or something. It's always sneaking me, sneaking up on me. Um, I think we're gonna be about done here. Yeah, I think we're gonna be about done. Plus, I'm getting kind of tired, so I'm gonna start collecting these up as we go, so I don't leave them out here to break. Do I have anything in the grill? Nothing in the grill. Pick that back up. I'd like to finish off the fish though. So let's see. Yeah, it's a lot less. The, the bass but give you a lot of oil. Something's making me feel tired. Yep, I got you. Okay. So I'm gonna start grabbing. I'm gonna start picking these up. At this point. Might just go stay at the cabin behind us there. I don't know. We'll see. So let's let's start busting these up a bit here, picking them up. I hate to do that, but there we go. Got to get a drink. Should have taken a drink to begin with. All right, let's get that drink. Carrying around way too much water. Just keep picking up bottles of water. And we got a couple little, little guppies. I don't know what they are. The gold eye. Huh? No idea. These are probably going to give like 0.01. If I had to guess. And we're at 19, 18 minutes. We're going to add a uh, little reclaimed wood here just to get us. Oop! Didn't mean to take a torch. That's all right. That's okay. That's okay. And I guess I could take a torch back to the cap camp office and continue cooking over there. Uh. Yeah, could do that because we have a bunch of fish out there. Um, yeah, I might do that. I might like this one. But right now, I just want to add a reclaimed wood and maybe a couple sticks. There we go. Good deal. Just to get us through these last couple fish and let me get enough time to... Uh, this won't take too long. Alright, that's only gonna take 12 minutes. 11 minutes until ready. Ugh. I kinda think I, I can't do it, it'll burn probably. Okay, there we go. Well, while we're doing this, might as well cook water or birch bark tea or something. Let's do birch bark. It's always a good one. Oh, it's gonna take seven minutes. I forgot it was really quick. I was thinking I'd have enough time like uh like I would for a whole thing of water here. Alright. Let's go clear these out. Am I carrying a fish? I think I'm carrying a fish. Nope, nothing. Let's take a look at our oil real quick here. So, yeah, we're almost... Yeah, we're at point, point 0.8 liters. So, definitely accumulating a lot of oil. Let's bust this up here. Get nice and tired. About, about to get to the point where I can't... Down. Yeah. Have a little sleep. All right, got to collect all these. Water starting to sizzle. Should be good though. Don't think I can run anymore. Nope. How are we doing on 11 minutes here? Hmm. Don't really want to add anymore. 
How cold is it if I can get away from the fire? It's pretty cold. Uh, 11 minutes. Can I get two of these in that amount of time? Maybe. But I kind of want to carry back a torch as well. Uh. Hmm. I think I'm going to light the torch. And now... I'm gonna put another one on. I can always, I can always get more. No need to get cheap now. Okay. Plus, if I carry back a uh, torch, uh oh, now it sounds like it's gonna be windy. Won't be able to get the torch back. It's windy. Let's take a look here. We're bubbling. Let's uh, drop some of this water. There we go. We're moving kind of slow. And the roar is gone. Just like that. It's almost morning. Alright, we got our tip-ups back. Could just leave them here, honestly. No need to really carry them right now. So I think I will. I think I'll just... I think I'll leave them all just right here at the front. Uh, they're not that... They are kind of heavy. Especially when you have scurvy. Everything becomes heavy. There we go. That helps out a little bit. My carry capacity is 9.9. .9. Ooh, wow. I want to get to the point where I can't even walk. Alright, let's... Uh, Yeah, let's go ahead and get going here. I've never seen it that low before. I didn't even know it could do that. That's kind of crazy. Make sure there's no decoys. Last thing I need is wolves on my tail. should have ate some fish before I left but I'm not going back I'm not going back we're gonna have we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have deer tonight and then we'll uh we'll use the uh, sled to bring it back now would have been a good time to do it but I'm just too tired so we got a straight shot straight to the uh, cabin might do that in the morning as long as the wolves aren't in this particular area right here so but we do need a good night's rest Negative 18 degrees is what it feels like. That's pretty cold, but we don't have very far to go. Can't feel my feet. Home sweet home. I'm so cold. Yeah, let's go grab ourselves some food. food.
thousand calories and chow that down. There we go. Let's get inside. Get some good rest. This pack is getting kind of heavy. I believe it. Okay, so we made it to the bed. Let's see what our carry capacity was now. That's still, I guess it just stops there. It's just like, yeah, that's that's as low as we'll let you go. So, okay, good deal. All right, let's get a drink here real quick. Um, You know what? Nah, I'm not going to use, I was thinking about using the tea, but I think I'm just, oh yeah, we're not in, the, in dire straits right now, so. There we go. All right, good. Got plenty of calories on board. Time to get a good night's sleep or a good day's sleep. <laughs> Definitely sleep for 10. And uh, we won't have much time, but maybe tomorrow I think we'll either go and sled back some of them fish, um, add it to our pile here, uh, which we'll be in good shape then. And then we'll go and work on some additional wood. We need to get some more wood, and then we need to work on some water here as well. But while we're cooking fish, we can cook water at the same time. Or I can sled back some water from over there at the, at the uh, fishing hut because we have gallons and gallons and gallons, liters and liters and liters, whatever. So let's go and get some sleep, see how we're looking here. See what tomorrow brings. Hopefully it's good weather and, and not too many wolves to deal with. 113 days, 8 hours, 51 minutes. Not bad. And we are thirsty. But that's okay. Well rested, ready to move. Let's see how our scurvy's doing. A horse. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, I'd say we're about... What are we? We're probably about a third of the way there. Not quite a third. Yeah. But we're dealing with it. It's just annoying. That's all. All right, let's go out here and see if we can sled back anything here real quick. I if I can drop any of this gear. Not a huge fan of that wind coming in. Um, we're going to see what the weather does. It's uh, getting close to the evening. So what's our temperature out here? Negative five? And uh, that's... All right, we might go uh, check something here. I want to see what the weather does. So it matches a 47. I could probably go up there and find some more wood. Honestly. All I could think about is food. Yeah. Um, let's see what the weather does. It's never a bad choice to kind of hang out and see what happens with, with something like that. Um, meantime, what do I want to do? I could get rid of some of this lamp oil carrying around. I should have taken one of these uh, near empty cherry cans. Are any of them close to empty? That one's kind of close. 23. Yeah. Should have taken that and it would have, instead of giving me these little bottles, it would have put it all in there first until it topped off. Then it would start manufacturing these little bottles. Would have been smarter, but... Oh, well. At least we have lantern fuel. That's nice. We have... A good decent amount of that, right? So I guess there's going to be base customization coming. I'm bringing Carl back. Carl's going to get, end up right back up there where he belongs. That's going to be my number one base customization. I might have to drop some gear. All right. So yeah, let's uh, let's pass a little bit of time here. All right. Yes, yeah, so the wind died down. Nice. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, now that the weather's cooperating with us, let me make sure I got the sled. We're gonna sled back some stuff. I don't see the, I don't see the wolves over there. If we have to take the long route, I'm not too worried about it either. Let me see, where did I put the sled? Do I have it with me? There it is. Good deal. All right. Let's go get while the getting's good. Lots of energy. You know how it works. It looks pretty clear, and then suddenly three wolves just emerge from the from the river. Uh, access a point over there. That's, I believe, that's behind us. It's pretty faint. Yeah, that's definitely behind us. Okay. So far, looking good. I wonder if I could get a free fire. I, I think it's a little too overcast. Yeah, it is. 
I know we're running. Probably end up running a little long on this episode, but I do want to get this stuff moved back over. A whole bunch of cooked fish. Because I got a bunch of fish back there at the cabin just uncooked. So we'd have to we'd have to have it like a sushi night or something. But we got a lot of cooked fish over here, so actually everything's everything's cooked over here. So plus some water. And uh, we got the sled, so we might as well take it. And since we just non-stop manufacture water whenever we first get here before we start actually catching fish while we're clearing the holes uh, I can take most of this water I'll probably leave about three liters of it and we'll haul the rest back and that should uh, save us from having to do a water cook honestly yeah things are looking pretty good here is that a wolf again way over there yeah it's a wolf it's not the bear I don't think the bear is going to be spawning in there ever in this particular series I haven't, I haven't seen him at all. Starvation. But I wonder if I just have exterminated the bear from Mystery Lake. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're not even close to being cold. Look at this. This is great. So let's get the uh, let's get the sled dropped here. How do you do this again? You got to go in here to do it. I think it is. Yeah, all the way down. Deploy. There it is. Okay. So there it is. Okay, let's uh, grab some stuff here. Put this away. Too heavy. Oh, I can barely move. <laughs> hurry, hurry, they're coming. They're coming. Look at all them stink lines. <laughs> let's go to food. Get that stink off of me. All right, now we should be safe. No more stink lines. <laughs> I guarantee every every wolf is coming this way though. For a minute there. All right, let's just move a little bit at a time. Having to crawl along is a bit annoying. Let's transfer all of it. Hey, we're actually using the sled for some decent weight this time. Okay, I think I'll leave this. That seems that seems reasonable, right? And we'll, uh, yeah, let's, well, heck, might as well move it all and then pick up what I need. Yeah, we're up to 40. That's not bad. That's not bad. Eh, question is, should I take those with me? I don't think so. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be back anyway. Cooking skillet. Um, try to think. Back at the camp office. Do I need a cooking skillet? Probably wouldn't hurt. I got to, I got to cook some more fish. I think I'm going to take that back with me. Yeah. There we go. Where's that? No, oh, I just saw it. It was just I, right there. Okay, good deal. Okay. All right, let's let's carry. Let's get moving. Uh oh. I I oh, good. I can go backwards. I can back my way out of this situation. <laughs> <Thought I'd... laughs> this thing uh, has some blind spots though, because you can't really look around, see what's sneaking up on you. Luckily, we don't have to go that far. Definitely going up to get some more wood though, but not in this episode. We'll save that for the next episode, if if this weather holds. Because uh, negative three degrees is absolutely spectacular. However, I have a feeling it's going to get a bit colder. Nightfall is coming. All right, I hope we have enough fish to... <laughs> to make it through the scurvy. I think we should. If not, I guess we'll just do keep we'll keep fishing with the tip-ups. Definitely the way to go. I got to say it was really good timing that I discovered the tip-up fishing the proper ticket tip-up fishing technique. And started to come into a whole bunch of those just before the scurvy hit me before it was dropped in that update and 
and, and that the fact that the fish are highest in vitamin C of all the items you can get in the world, so definitely the way to go because rose hips was it wasn't going to happen it was just rose hips no doubt all right so i think we'll uh drop it here drop it here don't act like that was too bad all right i'm just gonna grab everything we got here transfer all of inventory too heavy. Can't and move. we're gonna take uh, no, no, don't. Okay, that's fine. I guess if we ate it, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna drop. Let's get the fo food. Get that stink off of us. There we go. Okay. Uh, pick it up. Lots of, lots of fish. Okay. So. Not bad. And I'll, st I'll store the, uh store it inside I think store my sled upstairs somewhere nice put that skillet yeah there wasn't one skillet down here so I only have one up here now yeah we'll have two now so when it does come time to cook the white fish we can use these skillets and I think it decreases the time of just a little bit but at least the cooking time should be uh, equal so that's good all right, there we go. And what else can I get rid of? Oh, I'll have all that water. That's right, I'm carrying around. Hey, wait, did I grab all the water off of there? Yeah, I did. Okay. That's right, because I transferred all. That's what I did. Um, there we go. That looks better. <laughs> okay. Things are looking a bit better now. Okay. Got lots of cooked fish outside. More to cook out a lot around the back door um plenty of water I'm starting to run a little low on the Someone's wood gotta go so we're gonna work on that in the next episode but uh thank you guys oh well, check that out i never noticed that i wonder how long they probably till oh wow wow that's an easy way to find your way back get lost i like it or does it stop right there looks like it might stop right there of course it, you are kind of going on the ice so that kind of makes sense i guess i wonder how far it would go if i was just on snow Hadn't noticed it because you can't really see behind you when you're walking with it. And then once you get to wherever you're going, you're kind of like got to do some inventory management. Forget all about it. All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Greatly appreciate your guys' support. And uh, yeah, I think next time we're taking the heavy hammer out. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's at 100%. We're definitely taking that out to bust up ice. So I'll see you all in the next one. Y'all take care.